All right, here we go. Melbu Frama's last form. This form is the most dangerous of the four forms to most parties, unless you're using the uh, the, the setups that are strong to uh, physical attacks. Although Melbu has dangerous magic attacks here too. Uh, Melbu has a lot of different attacks here. Physical attacks, uh, magical attacks, he can summon two helpers and they can instantly kill you. He has instant death attacks of his own. Just in this phase, people are going to die. The confusion attack, which I'm protected against, because I think that's one of his most threatening attacks. Very hard to recover from it if you if your entire party gets confused. You'll definitely want to have at least one party member to protect it against it. Uh-oh. This attack is exclusive to this form of the boss. That was with Rose guarding. It's a very powerful attack that can just kill weaker people and even kill stronger people. It's nuts how much damage this guy can do. I do want to soften this guy up a little bit before I go all out. Go all out. Because if you because if you go all out and it fails to kill him, you can be in some real trouble. Oh, a night raid. At least that's not gonna do any damage to Rose. But Melbu's magic is high enough that these uh, magic item attacks can do a number on you as well. So I think I'm just gonna go for it now. Everybody's at full SP. I might heal up a little bit, but not too much. And this phase of the fight is really what I've been saving all my debuffs for. Power down, speed down. Actually, we're going to use Magic Shield on Al first, because I need to replenish Dark's MP, and I'm probably going to do that on my next turn. Do I have a Moon Serenade? I do. Good. Get his MP back up. I probably should have done this in the last phase, but it doesn't really matter. Because I've got him back up to full now. Oh, wow. I'm really getting lucky. Power up on Dart. And then I should be able to fire the special with him this turn. Use all the best... When you have him up to this point, just use all the best dragons, all your best Dragoon magic, and use the Divine Cannon. This should put a nice big dent into his HP. As a matter of fact, I might even be able to finish him outright, and that's what I'm hoping for, because I would rather him not use those dangerous attacks. He has basically all the magic that uh, Magician Faust did, and then some. As much as I'd like to show off those attacks for completion's sake, I don't think I can really afford to. And this is what the non-elemental special field looks like. You can actually see the background of it, and it looks pretty awesome. I like it. So, time to fire off the Divine Dragon Cannon. This should do around 3,000 damage.
gets the same attack as the one the Divine Dragon used. With additional animation. Yeah, about 3,000 damage. Now this should put a huge dent into him. Uh, I think Rose's Dragoon Edition is actually better than her magic, but we need the HP, so I'm going to just go ahead and fire off an Astral Drain here. If you have Rose's Darkness Dragon, definitely use it here. Now you're going to see the problem that with using Rose in this fight towards the end, that Astral Drain just simply doesn't heal enough. I'd be surprised if this did 500 damage. Well, I was about right. And we're gonna Rose Storm here just to be on the safe side, but I think I've almost got him dead. As a matter of fact, I should definitely be able to get him before we get out of Dragoon again. I really think that this fight, especially with especially with this party, is about disabling Melbu's first form with Dragoons, rebuilding your SP up in the next two, and just going all out on the, the final form. You're going to need it because it's his most difficult form. In, in a vacuum, it's his most difficult form, and it's the one most parties have problems with. Yeah, that Astral Dream, I'm going to see if it, her Dragoon Edition does more. Not if you hit it early. Usually I hit those late. Yeah, her physical attack does more damage. Well, now that I have Rose Storm and uh, Dragoon up, this shouldn't do a lot of damage, but it should still do plenty. And that is one of the risks with firing a Dragoon special off in this fight. The other one is the risk of, uh... The other one is the risk of, uh... Of him going Dragon Block Staff and then, uh, Magic Attack. Because if he does that, it can outright kill your party. So you definitely have to be careful when you fire off the special. Another interesting thing is after the first couple of times that you see the Divine Drag the Divine Dragoon transformation, they actually start to show an abbreviated version of it. The, the animation is so long. Still not dead, huh? Um yeah, let's just go ahead and see see if Gas Bliss does it. And then I'll use a physical attack on the next turn. Not bad, Al, not bad. All right. Once you deal enough damage to reduce Melbu Frama's HP to zero, uh, Dart will automatically transform into the Divine Dragoon if he is not one al if he's not in that form already, and finish Melbu Frama off with a Divine Cannon. So we're done with the game now. Now all we get to do is just sit back and watch the ending. I'll try to be relatively quiet for the first part of the ending, since it is a movie. And there there are parts of it that aren't movies, but, but the movies I'm going to be quiet during.